So IB Econ. The main thing with this class is knowing definitions. So I'm going to structure this in three parts. How to take notes, assessment objectives, and actually the assessments. It's kind of similar to business, how I structured it, but you know, I low-key enjoyed uh, having two social classes. They were a lot of fun. Now also, feel free to watch this video on 2x speed as usual. I have some notes up there. And also, if you like editing, message me, please. Now, the first thing is how to take notes. Watch the video in the description on how to actually take notes. And I think it's called like how to absorb, take notes from a textbook, like a sponge or something by a college professor. It's amazing. Please like do that before you actually do your econ readings, because yes, it will take a little bit more time. It will take like 10 more minutes, but trust me, you will understand this content so much more. And for econ, it's like, it's a theory class, right? Everything's kind of made up. I mean, like in a sense, right? So if you actually understand it, a lot better with a textbook. And I think that I would recommend doing both textbook readings and watching videos, which I'll talk about in a second. So yeah, learn how to take notes like that. I did go a little bit more detail in my business video on how this actually works. So yes. Also in the mornings before class, I would recommend watching uh, Jason Walker's videos on the actual econ topic you're learning. So right, you're gonna do a, ch a chapter on your textbook or however many pages in your textbook. And then the morning of your class, like while you're in the bus, while you're in the car, driving to school, or walking to school, whatever, watch a video by Jason Walker on the actual topic. And there, he might have done multiple, so just prepare for that. And I'd also recommend watching that on 2x speed because you're at the end of the day, you're just kind of reviewing. Another amazing guy, um, Dal Econ videos are mainly for review though, but Dal posts like exam strategies and it's amazing. Like they're both. Like I, I be like economists, amazing. Like they're both called goats in that sense, but the Welker is more good for like theory and like understanding like a more broader, I'd say. And Dal is more for like review and like, he really goes specific on how to use it for exams in that sense. Then also I included my resources um, as like a Google Drive link in the description. And it's similar to the business ones that I made, but I would say my third and fourth unit are kind of the best. My first and second, I was still trying to learn how to do the notes, so you know, you feel free to use them. I also include some other things in the description. And now the assessment objectives. AO1, remember two things. It's just about memorization. AO2, definitions. Literally the backbone of like every single paper you're gonna write. AO3, evaluation, comes with time. It's kind of tough. And also about having balance. And then AO4 is about diagrams, which are literally the most important thing in probably an IB Econ. Like you need to use them, you need to understand them. And my teacher even recommended when we were reviewing for exams, like, use the diagrams as kind of like basis points in the different units to actually understand the different things you're actually doing for the actual exams then. First, go to Dal's um, econ videos and go to his revision like exam revision playlist because he will teach you how to structure things. The next thing is have balance in your response, please. IB is literally about having balance and having like doing all these things. And so if you write a first paragraph that's this big, make sure that that's the same length, right? And it's also not about just length, but it's also about quality. So don't like, don't make one really, really good. And then another one, like if you're like doing pros and cons, right? Or like you're writing evaluation throughout, like, oh, this policy is really good. Or this policy is really good. Like don't make one of them way better than the other. And then for all three papers, you need to have a judgment at the end of your paper. I mean, that's what uh, you're going to see in Dal's videos. So I'm not going to go too much into that. Now, the next thing, the three papers, paper one, have well-developed real world examples. This was our final test. And we were stressing the night before because we were like, there's so much things in econ, like have a bank. I included some in the extra resources in the Google Drive link, but it's tough. Like we got blessed because we did like, we did a similar ish paper. So I had like real world examples remembered from that. So just use the ones that you used in class because for those essays, you'll understand them. You'll have feedback already on it. So that's kind of good as well. Um, macro is usually the most like common. I think that like similar topics, so you, be that as it may, I think that micro and global might be a little harder. So I just, I prepared for my macro, maybe even like choose one unit that you want to focus on. And then remember the diagrams of the central idea. So always like put all your, like you're going to write a big thing underneath, but have your like, have your diagram at the top and always try to like, whatever you can with use diagrams in your response. Right. And then yeah, just deliver your ideas and always spam definitions, like have as many definitions as like you need, or as you can, like if you have like three definitions, that's good. But like, I remember one time for my paper 1B, I had like 17 definitions. There's nothing, nothing that says you can't have that, but it also like helps kind of reinforce that you actually know your things. Now for paper two, and this used to be a sustainability paper. They changed it for us and we didn't know that. So clarify with your teacher, but it's just a 15 marker though. So like watch style videos. Um, it's just about knowing the content. Paper three is about policies. So no, it's mainly going to come from like micro market failure, market power, or, and if you haven't done that, you're probably going to do it at the end of the year. And then also it's about global. So 
Yeah, don't worry about two that too much if you're like IB1, but if you're IB2, just watch Dal videos. He's gonna like help you like time manage and all that. Anyways, I included a resource in the description. It's from my teacher, it's his own website. So use those things to actually find the best articles and like find articles, of course, the things you're doing in class and then follow the structure that Mr. Penn or my teacher like put in there. And it's like, I mean, it's quite simple to use. I would say it's very intuitive, it makes sense. It like goes through like, if you actually follow the steps, you're gonna do very well. And econ eyes are like, is that I think everybody can do pretty well on. And at the end of the day, econ is not a math class. So the easiest, the hardest thing you're gonna do is like calculate areas. Please do not get discouraged. Like I got some messages from people like, do not get discouraged. It's not a math class. It's about theory. It all makes sense because it's all made up. Just remember that it's all made up. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.